Good morning, survivors. All I have to say right now is wow. That was one intense night cycle. I sat here and listened to explosion after explosion after noise after noise. I don't know what the hell was going on down there, but there was some shit going on down there. I don't know if they were hitting the gas barrels, but or if there's some sort of crazy exploding zombie. Whoa. Do you see that crawler is up on the up on the the pole? Okay, I'm undetected. That's good. What is that over there? Is that a farm? Looks like it may be a good source of food over there as well, too. Man, everything is just so brand new. This is freaking amazing. Look at that floating light over there. <laughs> that's that's freaking awesome. Oh, whoops, a little bit of uh, malfunction in the world gen. But, oh my god, guys, I am so pumped to go out and about in this world and see what's going on here. Now, I did take a look at a few things. I've uh, made myself a bow and six arrows. That's all I had to make. I'm hunted. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That is not good. Hunted right... Okay, undetected. I'm undetected. Man. I just... Wow. Okay. So we got what looks like some farm stuff over there. What the heck is that? That is a dog. There's a dog. Okay, the dog's trying to get through the fence over there. That's what it's doing. So it looks like we have some sort of farm over here that's all fenced in. That's some crazy-ass shit. Um, I, am I hunted? I'm undetected. There's a lot of zombies underneath us. How am I going to get out of this? Man. Okay. They're just, they're just all over the freaking place. Uh, that actually looks like all dead corn. That actually looks like a horrible source of food. Uh, because we've got some corn over there. We've got some big asshole house going on over there. Uh, mansion. You know, those are regular POIs. Um, that's not a regular POI. That's definitely a custom one. Man, these zombies are going nuts. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, I'm hunted right off the bat again. Okay, what are these guys doing down here? Okay, you know what? If they're gonna come up this way, actually, you know what? You know what? There's a gas. There's a gas barrel right down there. Whoa! Shit! You got up here. I'm on fire. Oh my god! Shit! No, oh, I don't want to die again. Not right off the bat. I'm gonna be dead. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Bail! <laughs> Holy shit! They're all up here now. Bail! Oh, and I'm dead. Day two death. Holy crap! Look at that. Look at that. That is insane. They're all over me. Wow. That's insane. Okay. Uh, one thing I should mention as well here too, guys, is he doesn't have it working with 15.2. I actually had to roll back my game to 15.1, which is not a big uh, big deal at all. I can roll it back to 15.2 to make my vanilla one and then roll it back. It's a little bit of a pain switching the mod files and stuff around, but it's, um, it's easy once you get it settled and you kind of figure out the steps you need to take, right? But holy crap, owned again. Number two, death. One death on each day, my, my health is down to 80, 79 even. Wow. Okay, so we're, we're going to be starting this out again. And, um, oh, okay, so we're just north of the other town. Now, cities, day one, it just doesn't seem like something I should be doing on this playthrough. Because as you can see, we tried to enter the city on day one. was not a good idea. I got killed. Uh, day two, I was able to hide out on top of a building overnight somehow. Um, but as soon as that day cycle come around, those zombies came fucking flying. Like, I had I had no chance. I just, I, there is no hope. There is no hope. I did not mean to equip these. I meant to go to recipes and make ourselves some fire. Oh, I can make hay bales to nerd pole. Okay. All right. So I will use the hay bales to nerd pole and uh, to stop zombies from getting up. At least there's something I can make. Forest fall trap grass fall trap oh my god there is so much in this game guys that it's it's insane okay so forge locked behind a recipe uh there's fan belts no idea what those do workbench or um word wood wood <laughs> woodworking station we got a blast furnace we got a whole shitload of stuff in here refinery 
whole shitload of stuff in here that I have no idea. So this fishing and trapping. Nice. So we can do fishing and trapping. It just, I really honestly wish uh, the fun pimps would take a kind of uh, look at these, at these mods and go, you know what? Maybe we should make the game a little more complicated. I just, I honestly feel they're kind of dumbed down the game a little bit more so people can jump into it a lot easier. Um, which is, which is fine, but, oh, these mod guys, these guys actually, I think will make my day. Okay. So we got stone. Well, I mean, we need some stone here. I may as well take this cotton too, uh, just to make some, oh wait, can I even make bandages? Are normal bandages locked behind a recipe? Uh, we'll find that out in a second here, actually. I don't believe I have any wood either. Thank God, though, I keep starting out in the forest biome. Easiest biome to start out in as far as getting, like, all your basic supplies. I just got to find those little bushes. Azaleas, I believe they call them. Um, I modded those in on my server as well, too. Now, I'm thinking, you know, if something like this becomes a hit and you guys really like it and it becomes stable for Alpha 16, who knows? Because Alpha 16 is a whole different game. So uh, I might start a, a modded server as well, too, uh, to complement my other server. Uh, but if I do start a modded server, it's going to be PvP and it's going to be no rules. Uh, because, well, I just don't have the power to moderate that. And I don't think it's fair to put more pressure on my moderating team. They already have. A lot of pressure as it is okay so let's see if we can make ourselves a bow here i don't think i got any wood, wood. no no i don't um okay we still we still got to get some of that wood going on i don't see any of those uh, azaleas though that's that's kind of odd i hear another zombie i'm gonna steal those glasses holy shit it's right behind me man they're quiet it's almost like they made the zombies quieter oh this is intense okay so i'm gonna punch some stuff here Okay, we got a couple sticks. Oh, this isn't so bad punching this for sticks. This works. I can deal with this. Does it do damage? No, punching doesn't do damage. That would be actually... I would really, really like to see them add that to the game. Or at least a mod add that to the game. Where if you're punching something, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. You're not going to like it. Uh, so we're going to do the bow. And go for some more wood here. Because we got to get our basics back together. Is that guy still following us? Man... Like, I feel like I'm delivering you guys some really noob shit here, but you know what? If any of you have actually played this game, or played this mod, and you have any hints, oh shit, any hints or tricks for me, definitely let me know. Be much appreciated. Fucking leave me alone, buddy. I'm just trying to survive, man. All right, so we got to make ourselves a wooden club as well here, too. Ooh, these are always good for loot. Always good. Oh, man, these loot times, though. This is going to be the death of me. Oh, what was that? I got a first aid kit. Oh, damn. That thing just cool looking. And a bedroll. Nice. So even if I find a place to settle down, I can toss a bedroll down right away. That's kind of neat. You can pick up a bedroll. Wow. Okay. So uh, that's a snowberry. We don't want that. Um, well, I guess we, we can use it if I get hungry. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to stay along, alive long enough to really get hungry anyways. Uh, okay, so we got the axe going on so we can get ourselves some more wood easily. Is this guy still? Man, gotta get off my ass, bro. Oh, we have another one incoming. Man, the aggro range of these zombies is just mad. Alright, got another stone. You just, you gotta stay on the move all the time. This, this is, this is... <laughs> This is freaking awesome. I'm loving this. And it feels like when I picked up this game back in Alpha 13 and started playing it. I was just, I was constantly bombarded by stuff. I had no idea what to do, no idea how to hide. And to have that feeling back again is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's like finding a new girlfriend after you've been married to the uh, another one for so many years. Not that I, whoa! The fuck happened there? Did that zombie just take down that tree? That is fucking badass. I was not expecting that. This game is full of surprises. The gunshots, the tree. Man. What, what's it, what's it going to bring to me next? That's... Oh my god. I just got the shivers again. Oh, I can't re wait to record more of this. I just... Maybe I'll record like eight episodes in one night because I just really want to keep playing this, but I don't want to ruin the playthrough by playing it too much. You know what I mean? I want you guys to see me fail uh, because, well, if I'm not going to teach you guys how to do it, I'm going to teach you how not to do it. You know what I mean? Or what not to do. Uh, wow, these zombies are just all over my ass. Always got to move. Okay, can we, uh, can we make bandages yet? Oh my god. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to click on cotton recipes cloth fragments. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh my god, I only have enough to make one. What the fuck is that thing? What the fuck is that? It's a crawling woman. All right, we're going to get a fuck away from that crawling wo woman. That's some creepy ass shit. Oh wow, these actually put out more than the trees do. So these Whoa! Holy shit, man! I just cannot get away from these zombies. Always move. Always move. I think that's gonna be the rule of this playthrough when you first start, is just always move. Grab, grab, grab. Move, move, move. That's what this is all about. Holy shit. Man. My poor mouse. My mouse is gonna short circuit from all the sweat. I just got so much sweat going on in my hands right now, it's intense. I don't wanna die. I legitimately don't wanna die again. And uh, that, that drive is just... Holy crap. And this one's this one's jogging at me too. Motherfucker. Do I have I don't even have a wood bow yet. Or a wood club. Uh, you know what I want them to bring back as well too? Is I want them to bring Holy shit. I want them to bring back the zombies attacking the animals. Zombies used to attack animals, and I really like that because it was a bitch, right? If you're going after an animal, and then you got caught up with zombies, they would kill the animal too. And I was like, oh shit. Um, the other thing I want to see brought back is tree deaths. Trees used to hurt you. If you stood in front of a tree that was fallen over, it would done kill you. And yeah, it, it made sense, right? You don't stand in front of a fallen tree. But people would bitch, right? They're like, holy shit, that zombie just torqued. Or that, that chicken just torqued. Let's see if we can get it. Whoa, look at that thing go. Fucking psycho chicken. Okay, do we actually have a minute here that I can sit here and breathe? I think we do, folks. Okay, wow. What do we got here? We got some more zombies coming our way. Holy crap, come at me. Okay, at least I, I could take her out. I think I could take these on one at a time with my low, low-ass weapons. Um, I never either got to look at uh, what bruise meant because uh, I forgot to. And then when the day cycle happened, I freaking done died. Whoa, she jumped! Did you see that? She jumped! Don't tell me zombies jump now. That'd be insane. Okay, well, I got bruised again. Maybe that means I take damage easier? Maybe that's what that's about? Man, these zombies are tough as fuck. Holy shit. What is this one? Marlene 1. Nice. Okay. Marlene, what you got for us? You got nothing. Oh. Wow, my health is halfway down already. Okay. I hear them digging. What are you guys digging for? As long as I'm undetected, I'm fine. So let's open up the menu here and let's take a look at our character and see what bruised means. Okay, um, it doesn't tell us. Oh, you're getting bruised up. The bruises will heal themselves over time, but you may want to be more careful. Okay, minus one stamina every four seconds. Okay, so when you're bruised, you can't move as fast. Oh, look, there's there's a little road up there. Should we go? I think we should go and find a lonely POI and try to settle in at that one, because at least then I can try to clear the zombies out of the area and have a nice zombie-free area for overnight and not continually die over and over and over again oh my god okay so let's uh let's slowly follow some of these trails up here i don't i don't want to go too hard because i don't want to run into a lot of trouble what what is that i can hear it too that is some creepy ass shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's one of them fat guys. Okay. So, I'm pretty much like forced to take these guys on. Because if I don't, these guys are just going to fucking follow me forever. It seems the enemy memory is on like... Oh, ouch. It seems the enemy memory is on like level 9000. That's just absolutely insane. Ah, oh, shit. My club broke. Okay. I'm going to go forward a little bit. And uh, we will look up wooden club and make a new one. Holy crap, man. And it looks like they made these things less durable as well, too. Is he just standing there? Are you going to give me a minute here so I can make a club and beat you up? I'm going to watch out for his spit, though. That spit seems some dangerous. Wow. Look at that. Like, insta-hole. Man. I don't think I want to be hit by one of those fucking things. 
That's intense. I'm I'm loving this. This is this is absolutely amazing. I love that they, this guy can spit at me. Not just a cop, but this guy too. Good God, man, this is going to be a challenge. Okay, let's go finish this guy off here. One at a time. One at a time. Ah, oh, shit. I missed him, and I'm down to nine health. Okay. We got to be real careful here. Hit him in the head. Back up. Hit him in the head. <laughs> man, nine health. Holy shit. Okay, I think he's getting ready to spit at me. I think that's when he stands there like that. Oh, no. Maybe they have a range thing. Maybe that's what's going on. Wow, I haven't even... He hasn't even fallen over yet. Holy shit, these guys are tough as fuck. Oh, no. Oh, that was... Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, okay. He's not... Oh. Wrong direction, buddy. Holy crap, guys. My heart is just absolutely fucking pounding. Man, I can't even get to safety. Like, I honestly... Loving it. Is he gonna blow up? Oh, shit. He's gonna blow up. Okay, let's get the fuck out of this guy's way. Okay. Okay. Oh. Look at that hole in the road he left. Yeah. Definitely do not want to be in these guys' way when they done blow up. Holy shit. They must have they jacked up these guys' block damage. Wow, that was insane. Kind of cool, though, that they left... Um, Left some rocks and stuff behind. I was able to pick those up. Now I have nine health. First aid kit. Used. Forgot I grabbed one of those. What is this? This. Use this in a steam generator to recharge it. It's a dead battery? Okay. Well that's different. We're going to have to take a look at that. I like how these little trails are actually made out of um, pavement and, and not gravel. Did they take gravel out of the game? Like, like for roads? That's intense. Okay. So this one leads up somewhere up here. Let's keep following it. Watch. It's going to lead me to a military camp full of friggin' explosives. That, that's what's going to happen. I guarantee you. Just like my first playthrough on Alpha 15. What do we got up here? Oh, man. Man, even my feet are sweating right now. And I, I'm not even a sweater. I don't sweat that much. This is This is amazing. Okay. Let's go up this hill. Now, this is one funky ass hill. I would hate to be the person that shovels this driveway in the winter. This is brutal. I would, would not want to, uh, or even drive up this driveway in the winter. That's, that's madness. Okay. Does this, does it come to an end? Did you, did we just get wrecked? What is this? Ah, oh, it's just a small little hut. Oh, okay. You're in the roof? <laughs> Isn't that some derpy ass shit? Okay, do we have any around us? Hmm, I'm definitely gonna abuse this. Come here. Come here, Marlin. Marlene, I mean, Marlin. Wow. Marlene, you're not a fish. Your name. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I done pissed that guy off. He's like, you beating up my girlfriend, bitch. Okay, so that is a completely useless POI, guys. Like, that, that's, that's just bad. Uh, what we're gonna do here. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to keep running down this road and see if I can't find a POI. I'll see you guys right after this short break. <laughs> Holy crap. And welcome back, guys. So, I spent the night literally in the middle of a lake here. Scared as shit, but I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm good to go. And I've been living off of Yucca. Oh, my goodness. And I was finally able to heal up a bit here, too. So, I have literally just spent the night here kind of bouncing in the water. Uh, the water kind of feels different on this playthrough. It's really slow. Um, and it takes quite a bit to plow your way through the water. Uh, but as I found out, if the zombies chase you through the water, they're quite quicker than you are. So, you have to be pretty deep so they can't reach you. Because they'll get to you pretty fast once you hit that water. So lesson learned. I got hit by a couple on my way out. But um, I've made it. I'm okay. We're good to go. Uh, so what I've also done is I've made a whole bunch of wood clubs. So that when they break, I'm not going, oh shit, I need a new uh, club. And then we're in a dangerous position. And these cactus. Man, these cactus even do a good amount of damage to you. It's, it's insane. Whoa, I cannot hit stuff. 
with my torch. Okay, so we're going to put the torches away. I, I literally just made anything I could and would while I was sitting there bouncing in the water. Oh, yes, and you can actually fully pick up driftwood. That's kind of neat, too. Uh, but you can, as I've seen, you can actually use it in some of your recipes. Is that a chicken? Is that another chicken? Where did it go? That one chicken torqued. So, I don't know. Like, if, if they're faster in this game, or... I heard it. It hurt itself. Okay. Let's go forward here and try to find that airdrop. That airdrop seems like a very good idea right off the bat. Is that it right there? Is that our airdrop? Okay, awesome. So I'm going to get my wood club out in case we have any company kicking around. Because there's always zombies. Yeah, see, there's one zombie there right by the airdrop. So I'm going to go... Oh, it's sitting right on top of a cactus. Nice. Okay, sweet. So we got it. We got it. It looks like I got some, some rockets. Um, not quite useful at this point in time, but we'll take a look at it here. If I don't die and I can kill these zombies, I only have 10 arrows. Even arrows are a bitch to make and they take forever to craft. So this game definitely slows down your progress like mad. And I can, I can really appreciate that. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that. We have zombies all over us again. Okay. I'm out of here. You know what? We're going to go and fall back to the roadway and uh, see see what's going on. These yuccas are priceless. What do I have? Okay, so that's a demolition rocket. Nice. Hunting rifle stock. Uh, we didn't get a full weapon, which kind of sucks. That's okay, though. I'll take an airdrop. Did we get a health kit or anything? We got some gun oil. Oh, my God. Nope, we didn't get anything valuable. Okay, so we're going to keep moving here. I was, like I said, I was not able to find a POI. Uh, so I did the classic go out into the middle of a lake and just bounce around for the night. That is always a safe way to go. Unless they finally figure out how to make zombies swim. And then, well, we're in real trouble. Now that would be a challenge. If the zombies swim at you, that would actually be crazy, crazy cool. But which way should we go? Oh, that's that's just more water. Okay, so we're not going to go that way. We're going to obviously go up this way and see what we can find. Man, I can't believe my feet are sweat. <laughs> it's insane. Like, I literally, um, in, in the vanilla playthroughs, I'm like, oh, I'm dead, whatever, right? But in this playthrough, I just, I don't want to die because everything I have right now, I've worked incredibly hard for already. So I just, I don't want to lose all that progress. All right, do we, do we still have those fuckers following us? No. Now, I have found... That if you do get a nice quiet break like this, take it. Loot all you can. Oh, nice. Painkillers. I'll definitely take some of those. I never thought I'd be that happy to see a painkiller again in my life. But uh, I found one, so we're going to go on that. Now, I got to listen here as well, too, because these zombies, they seem to be a little bit quieter than, quieter than normal because they sneak up on you. And I've had a couple do it already. Uh, where are we here? Is this a, is this a two-way intersection? Uh, no, that looks like it's another small path leading up to something. So we're going to go that way. I would not mind settling in the desert at all because it's really easy to see. Uh, you don't really have any uh, view obstructions. And there's lots of yucca that you can live off of. Uh, now, the yucca will give you water as well too, but hopefully I can find some, some empty jars here to make some yucca juice pretty soon because I don't even have empty jars. Like, I don't even have any of the basics and... Why would you put a road on a cliff this steep? <laughs> You're just teasing me now, game. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get up any of these ways here. I just, I don't want to attract a lot more zombie attention. Oh, oh, nest. Definitely got to hit those up. We need those arrows. I wasted a whole ton on those zombies and didn't even get a single kill. Actually, a whole ton. I wasted eight on those zombies, but that's eight I really needed at this point. Man, what do you guys think? of this playthrough so far. It's pretty intense. I will admit that. I haven't felt this way about the game in a while. Uh, not since pretty much I picked it up and started playing it. But yeah, we're actually going to have to go all the way down and then back up. And most likely, we're just going to be attracting some zombies on the way there. Oh, no, it looks like, looks like we're pretty lucky so far. I'll take that. Um, I'm pretty much like picking up anything I can find at this point. Oh, sweet. Another level. Finally, level freaking two. It's about time. <laughs> Man. Okay, so my goal is here, I think, is to get nice and settled in, find a place, we'll, we'll get um, our inventories organized, figure out what everything is, what everything has to offer, and then we'll start branching out from there. I'll just I'll like, make a temporary base or something. Uh, that duct tape's not... It could be useful. I actually don't know because this game has so many new items. 
Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, the demolition rocket. Rocket that does a large area of damage to blocks and a small area of damage to people. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this one's specifically main to blow shit up, but not to blow people up. That's, that's cool. So what are you going to make with the driftwood? Planks. Okay. Um, I'm going to make planks. I don't know what you can do with planks yet. Uh, there seem to be quite a few recipes that need them. Uh, but I may as well keep grinding stuff. Always be making things. Getting those levels up. Um, because it's extremely, extremely valuable. All right. Wow, okay, we got some quiet time here. Man. Whew, take a breath. Okay. Awesome. So let's get up over this crest here. Man, I always hate walking up hills. So goddamn slow. <laughs> it's realistic, but it's freaking slow. And even the looting seems slower. I don't, I don't know if that's my ignorant because I haven't been level 1 in a while. Oh, look at that. Now that is what I call a home base. Uh, so what I've also done is I've gone ahead and made uh, some hay bales as well too. I'm going to turn these into ropes right away uh, so that I can nerd pull myself on top of a building because I couldn't make frames. You can see frames were locked behind nails. Um, and of course you need a forge to make nails so I wouldn't be able to make any wood frames. Wow, did they ever make building hard. Uh, this, this is cool. I'd really like to see a PvP server like this. I think a PvP with a balance like this would be absolutely insane. Uh, you'd have to be really freaking good at the game. Okay. I, I love how they made this driftwood pick. Uh, you can pick it up too. That, that's just really neat. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just dorking out about that one, but okay. So it looks like our, a good objective would be to clear out this house and uh, try to get settled in it. So once we got it clear, it should stay clear for a while unless they change the spawn rules, which you know what? They totally could have, but I, I don't know. There'd be no way for me to know. Okay. So we got some zombies going on here. Whoa, that was fucking close. Oh shit, one of those fucking quick ones again. They even hit quicker. Man, this cactus, this cactus is going to fucking kill me too. This shit's so dangerous. Alright, come here you derpy zombie. Try to stay in the same area-ish because I don't want to be walking in the cacti. Man, these things take so many hits. That's insane. Okay, I'm going to loot her. She's got nothing for me. Okay, so one down. Looks like we got uh, another fat guy here. We'll, we'll take him out too. Oh no, that's a skinny guy. Oh no, that's a fat skinny guy. That's what we got going on. Okay, so it looks like I'm actually starting to do a little more damage with these things now that they're... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What? Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my god. This is insane. Uh, that's death number four. Death number four, that's... Insane. Bleeding out, grabbed. So that's what grabbed is. You can't get away from them. They lit You literally stick to the zombies. Holy crap. My ass is getting incredibly handed to me. Whew. But anyways, guys. What I'm going to do is I'll end the episode here. I'm going to run back and uh, get back to my backpack. Uh, because it seems I, I keep spawning near uh, similar areas. So it shouldn't be too hard to get to my backpack. Let's let's look it up here. Okay, let's get through the dash the animation. And see how far away we are. Where even were we? Okay, th this is doable. I'm going to go ahead and run north here. And get my backpack and try to clear that area out. Hopefully my backpack doesn't despawn by that time. Uh, but I'm going to completely ignore zombies. I'm of course going to be picking up stuff on my way. Uh, always be grabbing stuff. Always be crafting. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Most likely Sunday. Uh, today's uh, Friday. So I will see you in Sunday's episode. We'll do um, an episode of Ark and an episode of Surv or, I'm sorry, True Survival. Now guys, you've seen what this game is completely or what this mod is completely capable of. I'm getting my ass kicked. I love it. Absolutely love it. And you know what? I don't mind sharing this with you guys. I, I don't wanna, you know, fake it, cut out my kills, make it look like I'm a pro. Because you know what? I don't know what I'm doing with this with this mod. But it's awesome because you guys get to start out this journey with me as I started out myself. So um it's it's a little different from me going from experienced and knowing vanilla very well to whoa not knowing this mod whatsoever so i will see you guys in the next episode stay classy always survive and always back up those game saves have a good one guys peace out uh i gotta head north, north.